Holdenville, Oklahoma. Holdenville is a city in and county seat of Hughes County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 5,771 at the 2010 census, an increase of 22% from 4,732 at the 2000 census. It is home to the Pork Group, a subsidiary of Tyson Foods, the Holdenville State Fish Hatchery, one of four operated by the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation, the Davis Correctional Facility, a 1,600-bed medium security prison operated by the Corrections Corporation of America, and the Creek Nation Casino, one of many operated by the Muskogee, Creek, Nation. Holdenville traces its origin to a Creek settlement called Echo, which means deer in English. George B. Fentress operated a general store there. A post office called Fentress opened there on May 24, 1895. During the same year, the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad, CO and G, later the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railway, built a line from McAllister to Oklahoma City. On November 15, 1895, the Fentress Post Office was renamed Holdenville, in honor of J.F. Holden, an employee of the CO and G. The town of Holdenville was incorporated by order of the U.S. District Court at Muskogee. D. J. Wright was elected mayor at the first municipal election, held December 27, 1898. The first city council meeting was held January 4, 1899. The Choctaw Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad was constructed in the 1890s from Arkansas to Indian Territory. Between 1895 and 1897, the construction passed through the Creek Nation. During this period, a railroad camp was set up to service the railroad construction. The railroad workers called the Camp Holden in honor of J.F. Holden, the auditor and traffic manager of Choctaw, Oklahoma, and Gulf Railroad. In 1895, a request was delivered to the U.S. Congress to establish a post office in Holden. The request was rejected because the name was too similar to another post office called Holder. The proposed name was then altered to Holdenville and was accepted. In 1898, settlers petitioned Indian Territory to incorporate Holdenville as a town. A hearing was granted and on November 14, 1898, Holdenville was incorporated as part of Indian Territory. Upon ratification in 1907, Article 17 Section 8 of the Oklahoma State Constitution designated Holdenville as the county seat of Hughes County. The St. Louis, Oklahoma and Southern Railway, later the St. Louis and San Francisco Railway, constructed a line between 1900 and 1901 from Sepulpa to the Red River that passed through Holdenville. An election was held on June 27, 1908, to determine a permanent county seat. Contending communities were Holdenville, Watumka, Calvin, and Lamar. None of the candidates won a majority, so a runoff election was held on September 10, 1908, between the two top vote-getters, Holdenville and Watumka. This time, Holdenville won the election. The first annual Oklahoma State Association of Free Will Baptists meeting, 1908, was held on the 800 block of South Creek Street in Holdenville, at what is now the first Free Will Baptist Church of Holdenville. It later grew into a statewide organization serving thousands of Oklahomans and is headquartered in Moore, Oklahoma. Holdenville is located at 35.084199-96.400305. It is about from Oklahoma City. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of all land. Holdenville sits approximately 5 miles north of the Holdenville City Lake, 8 miles north of the Canadian River and six miles north of the Little River. The area is mostly wooded and flanked by gently rolling hills, interrupted occasionally by small creeks and streams. As of the census of 2000, there were 4,732 people, 1,966 households, and 1,236 families residing in the city. The population density was 975.9 people per square mile, 376.7 per square kilometer. There were 2,302 housing units at an average density of 474.7 per square mile, 183.3 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 75.06% white, 3.44% African American, 14.48% Native American, 0.27% Asian, 0.99% from other races, and 5.75% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.45% of the population.
There were 1,966 households out of which 28.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 44.3% were married couples living together, 14.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.1% were non-families. 34.2% of all households were made up of individuals and 20.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.31 and the average family size was 2.96. In the city, the population was spread out with 24.7% under the age of 18, 8.4% from 18 to 24, 23.2% from 25 to 44, 20.5% from 45 to 64, and 23.2% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 40 years. For every 100 females, there were 81.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 76.7 males. The median income for a household in the city was $20,282, and the median income for a family was $27,175. Males had a median income of $21,020 versus $17,951 for females. The per capita income for the city was $13,326. About 14.8% of families and 20.2% of the population were below the poverty line, including 21.2% of those under age 18 and 18.4% of those age 65 or over. Primary and secondary education in and around the city are provided by Holdenville Public Schools and Moss Public Schools. Historically, the Holdenville area economy has been based on agriculture. The main crops have been cotton, peanuts, pecans, corn, hay, oats, sweet and Irish potatoes and orchard fruits. Other types of business have supplemented the economy. Covey Corporation manufactured plastic products and employed approximately 150 workers. Other enterprises included Seamproof Corporation, a manufacturer of lingerie, and FB Fly Company, a producer of fishing tackle. Aquafarms, a catfish processing plant, and the Holdenville State Fish Hatchery also provided employment. In the 1990s, Tyson Foods hog breeding operation and the Early Davis Community Work Center created jobs. Since May 1934, nearby Lake Holdenville has offered outdoor recreational activities. Holdenville celebrates the annual Fall Festival on the first Saturday in October. The festival includes a parade, classic car show, and an open-air market fair with dozens of booths and vendors. The Fall Festival was originally called Hog Wild Day to celebrate Tyson's contribution to Holdenville's economy, and featured a hog calling contest, a pigtail contest, a pig out pie eating contest, and a greased pig contest. Stroop Park is the primary recreation area in Holdenville. It contains a playground, baseball diamond, public swimming pool, basketball court, tennis court, skate park, two pavilions, disc golf course, and numerous picnic tables. There is also a one-mile walking path, duck pond, and a smaller adjacent park called Rose Park which mainly consists of flower gardens. Holdenville City Lake, in addition to providing 80% of the drinking water in Hughes County is the area's main source of aquatic and woodland recreation. The lake is surrounded by campsites, some of which are equipped with RV hookups. There is also a public bathhouse with restrooms and showers. The lake has two docks, one is covered and reserved for fishing, the other is open air and used for boat docking. Boats and jet skis are allowed on the lake, but only in certain areas. Tubing, kneeboarding and water skiing are allowed depending on the water level. There are also numerous ATV trails in the vicinity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.